Hi, this is Tammy from Michael's Consignment on Madison Avenue in New York City, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about how Gucci got started. Guccio Gucci started Gucci in 1921 in Florence, Italy. Interestingly enough, he was working as an immigrant in Paris and London when he fell in love with luxury goods. He was working in a hotel, he saw all of the uh, wealthy people come in with their fancy luxury luggage and their handbags and he went back to Italy and decided to start his own luxury uh, leather goods company. He started a small shop with his three sons. They grew very successful very quickly, expanded to Rome and Milan and then of course um, World War II hit and he needed to figure out how to continue his company successfully in that environment. Being an entrepreneurial and very uh, creative, he realized that the leather goods were no longer available because of the war and he moved to the cotton canvas and developed the Gucci monogram cotton canvas that we all have seen and are very familiar with. And that is sort of what carried him through the war. He continued his success. He also had a lot of aristocrats that were coming to him who loved horseback riding. And he developed that iconic horse bit. Actually, I'm wearing a bracelet here. Um, it looks like a horse bit. And he developed that for his clients and it just became wildly successful and just continued to carry the brand on. Today, Gucci is one of the best selling Italian brands. And I think that can be attributed to Gucci's willingness to change with his environment and to read his customers and to understand what the needs are and to um, just navigate through you know the, the the fashion world in just a very entrepreneurial kind of way. I, I actually find it fascinating that he was able to continue his success coming on the tail end of World War One and then through World War Two and then of course today we just still love Gucci. So if you click here I'll give you some pointers on how to spot a fake Gucci bag.